Hi everyone, how's it going? Tim here. And uh, today I want to do another one of those off-topic videos. Uh, so the thing is that, you know, I'm a pretty thick-skinned guy. I'm playing online competitive video games in my free time and that tells you something about me, right? So it's quite, quite hard to get to me through words. But uh, even I sometimes get upset when people say mean things to me. And um, this is basically what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the attitudes towards... Uh, open source projects and maintainers who actually support them, you know, something they do in their free time. Uh, it like why I wanted to do this is well, because sometimes I get very mean and um, let's put it this way, annoying comments from people. So it's, it's, it's not the first time I get them certainly, but uh, I just, you know, want to go through the first one that I got when I posted this on Reddit, like the announcement for my course that's already finished nine months ago um there was a guy who was like let me just read this to you that's what he said and his nickname is by the way not mean anymore which is amusing and on its own so let me read the comment fuck you man it seems like everyone else is cool with you using this subreddit to attempt to squeeze a comfortable lazy entitled living of your shitty youtube channel but i am not Fuck your shitty marketing bullshit. It has no place on this subreddit. You think you get just to sit at home 100% of time, making easy money from internet and do whatever you want or your free time. Nope, sorry buddy. You have to get full-time job and hate your life like everyone else. Fuck you. Um, and that is a reply to my post where I said that all my course will be free and under permissive licenses. Like you, you can feel like, you know, maybe... I mean, I, I'm kind of like, I'm reading this again and I'm already feeling comfortable because this is like bullshit. Like, come on, I don't want to be angry, but this is really bullshit. And then they go on and talk about how, you know, that's not how you do free things. That's not how you do. That's how you do it is different way. Like if you want to teach me something, do it yourself and show it to me. Uh, but that, that is like very old and I'm almost forgot about that until I read it again. So let's, let's have a look at another thing. This is a new one, actually. So this is the article that, um, uh, again, I published quite some time ago. And there's this new person who uh, posted this at first. This is to the old article, again, the one that I promoted the initial course. He said, there's nothing special about the way this course is structured and compared to a bunch of lectures about the subject that lecturers happen to know enough uh, about to talk for a very long time. Meaning he's done something in it, not that he has a lot of knowledge about it because people can talk forever about things that they've done for a finite amount about things that they know about. Um, that is one very long sentence. I say be wary of anyone who wants to teach you things for free because most of the time it's another way of saying shut the fuck up while I tell you what to do, which is an exercise in futility. Um, it's like, you know, the, the, so I tried to reply to him by saying like, if you would bother to just read beyond the title of the article, you would see that I actually to talk about what I am using in my daily developer work and how I work. And I just want to show you and tell you guys what I do. And, you know, maybe someone find it useful. And I, you know, judging by the fact that there's a bunch of people watching me, you do. So thank you very much for that. But uh, yeah, so I was like, hey, I'm offering something for free. It must be a scam. A uh, few days after, he actually replied to my new article where I announced the uh, Electron JS course by saying, "Yes, this is a scam." I get with, I I literally have no words. And uh, the thing is that uh, this attitude towards free and open source things on the internet it's kind of very demoralizing, and there's been a lot of talks about it. So. Um, for example, there's an article uh, from Nolan Lawson, who is, um, among other things, created PouchDB that we're using in Electron Project, actually, uh, that is titled What It Feels Like to Be an Open Source Maintainer. It is a very long article. I will link it in the description. You can read it uh, yourself if you want to. And it basically talks about how, um, how hard it is to maintain something at least semi-popular, how, how, you know, how much it burdens him and how much it burns him out to go through all these issues and do all those maintenance and, and pull requests and issues and everything. And I mean, you know, I understand if you, like, I, I can't even imagine having like 400 issues per day on a project. This must be crazy. And he's not the only one. He, I think he like he was the one who sparked this whole discussion that went for quite some time. It was quite some time ago, like a half a year ago, maybe or more 
we can uh, have a look at the date here. No, it was, yeah, okay, so it wasn't in March, so not too long ago, but still. So my memory is still fresh of that. <laughs> yeah, and um, he got two responses. One of them was uh, from uh, Michael Rogers, uh, who is now working at Node.js Foundation, who basically says that, you know, once you feel like project is not... Like sometimes it may be basically the best thing for your project and for you to just leave because, you know, it's just not viable enough for you to do this alone and there's nobody else. And maybe that's the easiest way to get people to step in actually to leadership is to just create a vacuum there in that leadership. So it's certainly one of the points, but I uh, do like the other answer from uh, Jan uh, Lenhardt. Um, way more uh, so the main gist of it is that the best and most sustainable way to maintain the open source project is to stop caring uh, which you know it's it's like it sounds a bit silly but when you think about it really it's uh, it comes down to the this not caring list which is amazing in my opinion it's like hey i found this other solution that works better for me great i don't care it's like hey your course is not good great i don't care like as long as you don't watch it i don't even care um this is my approach so far but you know even then those mean comments get to me so it's like a bit annoying and uh he also referenced another really great article here on why I haven't fixed your issue yet, which uh, again, I will put a link in the description and uh, I will. So basically I want to read this um, message to the ecosystem. You know, I will try my best to get around to it. I do want to help you make things easier for me by reading and following as closely as possible. The issue template, take time to understand research and debug your issue. Don't offload that burden onto me. Understand if I do not reply in what it seems like a reasonable time and don't be the guy who is extremely rude and insulting. Uh, this is, I think, like one of the most important parts of this message. Um, you know, I mean, we have a bunch of university projects that we maintain that are quite popular in the research areas. They like deal with natural language processing and all that stuff and resource linking. And we get a, quite a lot of issues where people just don't read the documentation and it's like literally a second page of docs saying the solution to their issue and you have to handle it and it, it is annoying i've seen our maintainers just go nuts and like almost tearing their hair from their head like ah oh, why don't he read the docs um but and then again this comes down to you know not caring it's like hey read the docs i don't care close it um what I lead this to is, you know, it's first of all, when you use someone's free and open source tool, don't expect anything out of it. Like, do you have time to contribute? Then you can help and do it better. Do you not have time to contribute? Well, then maybe you should look at the paid solutions because it might not work. That guy might not have time anymore. And uh, most of all, you know, you don't have to be rude and insulting. You don't have to tell people that their work is shit. You don't have to tell people that it doesn't fit your use case. You, you need to be grateful. I mean, someone created a cool tool that, that is free, that is open source, that is there for you to use. Why would you be angry at that person? That doesn't make any sense. And uh, one of other realities is, you know, that the fact that you cannot actually make a living out of open source right now. So the only way that is actually sustainable is for developers to get a quota on their uh, full-time job to say like work half time uh, on the open source project they're maintaining and then the other half time on whatever they have to do for the work and or maybe full-time but then you know I, I've heard only f uh, about that only from like Google and Facebook and Microsoft so like really big guys who have a lot of resources and can just say hey you know go work on react for eight hours a day that's I mean that sounds awesome I, I'm all for it but it's like how many companies can do that like babel is struggling right now like i wouldn't say struggling but they are looking for external funding right because they are not under any uh huge company supervision so they open that like crowdfunding essentially which kind of works but then again it's not like very it's still fl fl flucky you know like if, if anyone withdraws their funding they will be screwed so if you have an opportunity, if you're working a company that can contribute to open source, go and ask your boss to do that. Go ask for hours, ask for money if you can can do that. Like, sadly, I'm working in a university where we don't really have that much money, like free money that we can use to contribute to open source. But I try to do that with my free time and my coding skills wherever I can. So I, I haven't sent that much PR requests, but I mean, 
you know, whenever I have some time, I do, I try to do videos like this. I try to educate people. I try to do something about that. So it's, it's not super hard. But I mean, above all of that, please, please, for God's sake, don't be rude. Don't, don't insult people who do things for free and, and, and open source them for you to learn from. It's like, it's, come on. Yeah, I guess that that's actually all I wanted to talk about today. It's it's a very, I don't know. I, I don't like this topic much. I mean, I would prefer not to talk about it at all and just, you know, be happy about doing open source work. But unfortunately, it doesn't work this way because there's, there's a decent amount of dicks out there or people who just don't think about what they say, I guess. You know, don't, don't be that guy, please. All right. I guess that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And I... See you on the next live stream is going to happen sometime this week. Bye, guys.